Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we have the championship game of this 2015 Valley Spring Face-Off Tournament. Live from Twin Rinks, Langley, BC, the Fraser Valley Sturgeon are taking on the West Coast Wolverines. With me as always, classic co-host, Sean Simonson. Yes, we have seen this matchup once already in this little tournament that we have been watching and so happily been commentating. And it's the Wolverines who came up winning last time. I believe six to one was the score. And uh, the, the, the Sturgeons are looking to see if they can get this one back. And might I say and repeat after you that this is the championship game. That's right, Simonson. For all the marbles in the playground right here, uh, starting this game off, 10 Carrot gets it out of his zone. The Sturgeons want to be a different team than they were last time against this team because things did not go their way. But they have a shot right away and a nice save by Williams. So the Sturgeons are obviously fired up here. Seven Hansen has the puck on the wraparound. Williams makes the save. Wolverines get it out of their zone. 88 Hasek turns on the Jets there in the neutral zone. Getting pressured by Hansen who's whacking away at it. But Hasek has the puck. Loses a great job by Hansen there. Puck scrambling out there and Joe Hall makes the save. Bats it away to, to Hansen. Hansen feeds it up to the boards. 53 can't corral it but 11 Thine does. Streaking on the left hand side. Getting pressured by 96 but he has a shot and the surgeon strike first here Simonson. What a goal by 11 Thine assisted by Seven Hansen, and I believe the goalie, Joe Hall, got an apple on the play here. Well, let's take a look from the beginning. Okay, so there it is. So the 96 shoots it, and Joe Hall makes a save. He sweeps that one to the corner. Number seven there. What's his name? Hansen. Hansen. He has it, and then it gets out to the line there. 11, fine. Is yep, that it? That's and it right. goes, walks it in as he goes and beats his defender there and then goes right up and over the goaltender Williams. Night and day from what we witnessed last game. Look at him fall down there. And the Sturgeons are hungry right now, Simonson. They are ready for battle like it's gladiators, but the Roman times, not the movie. Okay. Well, here we are. One to nothing for the Sturgeon this go around. Let's see what unfolds as oh. the action continues. A little bit of a collision there at the blue line. And it looks like there's going to be some penalties served. I think the penalty's right there on Kara for slashing the stick of 97 something old Spencer. I'm going to call him by his first name because I can't read that last name. And there was a collision there, but that's not the penalty. It was the initial slash. So Kara's going to have to go sit in the box. Okay. So there we are. There's a penalty for the Sturgeon. So they're on the penalty kill. The PK, there's a shot. Joe Hall makes a save. That needs to be done right now. Gets a little pat on the melon by his cohorts. And as play continues, it's the Wolverines continuing the pressure down low with a nice little cycle move. 96 has it. He gets stripped almost, but manages to hold on to it. Throws it to the front of the net, but doesn't quite make it there. It's the Sturgeons that come out with it. And now the penalty has expired. And back to full strength for both teams as it's thrown to the net. And that Joe Hall goes to cover it, but it was loose, but manages to find it. And Simonson, 96, Linden, that's the guy that got the hat trick last game. He was a force for the Wolverines. We gotta keep an eye on him this game. Um, he's, he's definitely a, sta a notable player out there for the Wolverines. Here we go, Bickerton with the puck down below his own net, trying to get it out, getting pressure by 96, who got the trip right there. Referee was right there, clear line of vision, and Linden's gonna have to go sit in the box for tripping Bickerton. Yeah, there's definitely no getting away from that one. I mean, that'll work, Simonson. Get him in the box. Do whatever he can to take him out of the play. The Sturgeon's got to shut this player down if they want to succeed here, Simonson. Um, at least that's my thoughts. There you go, 53. Gallows gets tripped up in the neutral zone, but regains his footing with the puck, trying to make moves. Great job by Cater to strip the puck away from him, but Gallows continues with the puck, loses it, gets it on the backhand, and great work by him. Great pressure to get the puck on net, which is what you need to do to score goals. That's what needs to happen because, you know what, just throw them towards the net, and they can bounce in, and they don't have to be good looking. They can be ugly, and they all work just the same. They all work just the same, 
and I'm gonna keep that general. <laughs> um, <laughs> PG. There we go, 14. Bickerton behind the net. Could have gone the other way with it, Simonson. 96, Linden has the puck. Battle in Bickerton. This, no, I can't tell you more, Simonson. This is a great battle here between Linden and Bickerton. Puck gets out, and there's a high sticking call on the play. I don't think I've seen this, so we're gonna have to run it back. Great battle between Linden and Bickerton. Oh, right there, number two of the Sturgeon, Diak. Whacked Linden right in the back of the neck with a high stick, and he's definitely gonna have to go sit in the box for that one. He chopped him like he was beheading sons of guns. In like, the like it was chopping stir time. Like he was taking a fish and chopping the head off and packaging it for sale at the local superstore, Simonson. You can't do that with sturgeon. That's illegal. Oh, I did not know that. I'm not a fisherman, Simonson, but you are, so thank you for that. Uh, here you go, the sturgeon, who are an illegal breed of fish, apparently. <laughs> well, I said, but anyhow, here we are. Pucks in the neutral zone, collected by Hansen, and all by himself. Not a Wolverine oh. in sight. Fires that one right into the crest of Williams and then goes into the boards. Oh my goodness, look at that. Great work by Ten Kara to poke the puck right to Hansen. Hansen on the right hand side. Takes his time and shoots it. Great blocker save in 11th time. Couldn't corral it, but he throws it right back in, trying to get that back angle bank. But Williams locked and loaded it. Threw it away in the vault, Simonson. Yeah, I know. At first, I thought him directly. I thought it hit him square in the chest, but in a closer inspection, it was a nice shot. But the Williams was able to get the elbow out to stop that one quickly. But here we go. Wolverines have it in the Sturgeon zone. It's a three-on-three -three battle down low, and then it's thrown to the net. Joe Hall sprawls out and covers that one up. Gets the whistle. They're gonna go for a face-off for a fresh puck drop and a regroup. Here we are, it's in the slot. All by himself, 10. Takes a shot, never makes it to the net. In the corner on the far side. There, 14 to Linden, 96, I believe you call it. Yeah, yeah, that's right, and Simon. Then, uh, in the scramble at the ringette line and it comes out, 10 with a shot and it hits a body in the way and it never gets to the net again. It's just a scramble of bodies everywhere here, like a tornado. Everything is crazy. Everything's crazy, Simonson. We see a lot of that with little or kids hockey. A lot of scrambles. Uh, it's not. I mean, it happens. They all bunch up. But sometimes you get open ice like that. A backhand and a big save. And there's a goal, Simonson. The Wolverines 14. McRobbie tied it up. Assisted by 10 Watts and 96 Linden. And we're gonna have to look at Linden right there, Simonson. Nice backhand as he drops down right to Watts. Watts with a huge backhand. Big save by Joe Hall. And McRobbie gathers a puck and. And tucks it home. That was actually a really nice play by the Wolverines. When you slow that down, you can take a second to appreciate the magic that they made happen on the ice right there. Absolutely. You know what? We got a 1 1 tie right here with there's a a minute 45 left to go, and Linden has the shot. Joe Hall makes the save as the Sturgeons, and the Wolverines continue battle in this game that's a lot closer than their first matchup was. Wolverines give it to Carcamo. Carcamo has a shot, puck out front, loose, and Joe Hall gets the glove on it with 5.6 seconds remaining in the first period of play as time winds down. Gallos whacking away at Linden there. Wolverines has possession, and there's the buzzer, Simonson. We got ourselves a championship game here. One to one the Sturgeons and the Wolverines going into the second period. I wouldn't have it any other way as the second period starts at the puck drop. We got the action going just as hard as it was in the first and it's dumped down into the Sturgeons zone. Kara comes out from behind his own net with the puck trying to battle past two Wolverines break out of their own zone and they manage to clear the zone but they don't have full possession nor control and the Wolverines don't either. It gets pushed back into the Sturgeons zone Battle along the far side boards in the referee skates. Thrown down below the goal line with their 17 of the Sturgeons ringing it around to the near side for his partner there to come and pick up the puck as it bounces around. The body's falling everywhere. It squirts to the point. And it's 88 of the Wolverines. Takes a shot that gets to the net. Paddle saved by Joe Hall. And it's put down into the There's four. Oh! Sturgeons standing in one spot, which leaves the puck wide open on the stick of seven Kotlowski Simonson Hasek has the shot nice save by Joe Hall bunch of body look at that you got four five Sturgeon all bodied up Puck gets to Kotlowski Kotlowski 
fired at home, Simonson, and you could see the issue with the Sturgeon's team. They're all bunched up like you're going fishing and they're all attracted to a metal hook. Yeah, no, you had five guys checking one guy. Yeah. And that, that is why the Wolverines had scored on that play. 100%, Simonson. But as you go older, oh, man. I was going to say, as you get older, you'll learn to space out. But Papa Phyllis just took down Gallos right there. As you can see, Gallos was on his way to a one-on-one. -on -one. Papa Phyllis just fed him an elbow from behind, it looked like, and a shove, sending Gallos to the mat. And there's going to be a penalty on the play, I would think. I would think that there might or should be a penalty shot, but they're just going to give him a penalty. So it is what it is here, Simonson. That's it. But you know what? Retribution was done because there was a penalty. Yep. And another one. And they got another one as their first penalty is expired. That's how fast the highlight reel happens. Right there, Hasek tripped Bickerton. And there must have not been a lot of action between that first and second penalty because one hopped out and another hopped in. The power play skills, I guess, come a little later in life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just like a lot of things, Simonson. These are kids, but these kids are a lot better than me. Oh! And number three, White scored, assisted by Gallows. And look at that absolute beauty of a goal with the Selly to boot. He's going to go Selly with the teams. This is Selly Entertainment. He's doing exactly what we want him to do here, Simonson. Let's take a look and see what I have got here to look at. The puck is bounced off the boards in a neutral zone. Comes up onto the stick of white, I believe. And he comes and just fires one. And with the goalies being so short in these leagues, they go down. They don't are not able to cover that por top portion of the net. And you know, anytime guys can raise the puck up above their head, once they catch a goaltender going down, they're going to score 99% of the time. That's right. It's game over, Simonson. Two to two. We got ourselves a tie game in this championship match. I'm excited. 88 Hasek of the Wolverines comes in, has a shot. Nice save by Joe Hall, who freezes the puck and slows play down. As White tries to speed things up, uses the boards to try to get around 97 there. Oh, gets bodied by him uh, as he falls down and... Uh, Wolverines are going to send the puck all the way down into the Sturgeon zone. Number two is going to go retrieve that puck, Simonson, and try to get it. Blindly throws it up the middle. Not a good idea. Linden, 96, has the puck, has a shot, and he scores, Simonson. The Wolverines just went up a goal, and, oh, man, you uh, it, it's oh man. Well, we'll find out. Let's take a look here and see what happened there. See, okay, throwing it up the middle. You'd never do that. White was there. If he collected it, it might have been okay, but he's still vulnerable to be checked. So, and then it go ends up on the threat of Linden with the white and black tape with the <laughs> Selly fall down. Oh, actually, he got tripped by number eighteen. Um, oh, I couldn't read the name bar, but yeah, the, the Selly was you got tripped. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, three to two, the Wolverines over the Sturgeon. Uh, here we go, the West Coast Wolverines. Number seven gets checked by Tompkins. Tompkins, number 16, fires it up the boards. Uh, the Sturgeon can't quite get it out, though. 90 Nash trying to find Smith. Smith giving chase to it, but the Wolverines have it in the neutral zone, making moves of their own. Number 42 fires it. A little bit of pinball action. Hasek lost in his own feet. Smith goes to pick it up in the neutral zone. Turns it up, gains the zone. One on one with the goal. He has a shot and a beautiful goal by Smith Simonson. The Sturgeon just tied this game right back up. We were just here and we're back again, Simonson. Here we go again, Smith with an excellent goal and a fabulous time. Here we are, so look at that. He takes advantage of confused Wolverines and he goes one-on-one -on -one with a goalie and then corrals that puck and really lets that go with a quick hard elastic like release and the goaltender Williams had no chance on that one whatsoever if you're gonna ask me that was, a, that was a really nice shot by Smith he wound that up so I'm saying like a slingshot and he let that sucker go like he was Bart Simpson I, I enjoyed watching that shot release yeah that was very that was beautiful there you go the Sturgeon in their own zone get it to the neutral zone 97 something Olsen fires the puck I don't know how to pronounce Hort Olsen maybe who knows and there's the buzzer to the second period
period, I believe. And we still end this period off in a tie like we did the previous period. Going into the third, Simonson. Here we are, 3-3 three, three in the third period. Oh, dangles by number 30, it looks like, of the Wolverines with the backhand from hell. That was put on Joel Hall, but it was not enough to beat him. And here he comes back with the puck. And then it's sitting there at the bottom of the circle, squirting around, and Joe Hall has had enough and wants the whistle. Yeah, he's frustrated. He's done with it. He's had enough. He's going to cover it up. Joe Hall with the huge kick pad save on 53 Massim, who lets it go, gets between everyone except for Joe Hall, who's the last line of defense, and he's doing his job, Simonson, being the last line of defense. Well, you know what? This it could go either way right now. We're at a 3-3 tie. Both goaltenders have been fabulous tonight, and it's like it, it is just it, it comes down to fatigue, maybe. Which team gets more tired? Here's Smith going to one on two, goes, finds a beautiful. Oh my goal. goodness! Number 54 sneaks in and behind everybody when nobody knew he was there and pops it in with a beautiful heads up play by Smith. Look at this, Simonson. Look how it all unfolds as Smith is the one who caused that turnover, gains the zone right here, and look, you know what? The Sturgeon weren't really passing that good in the beginning of this tournament. Look at this beautiful pass that we just seen. 54 Kara put it behind him, and that this team has literally come together in front of our eyes with these four games that we've watched, and that was an unbelievable goal by Kara and Smith, a part of the action here. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm gonna give all the credit to Smith on that play, though, because he went and started it and then did that and was unselfishly found. All you had to do if you're number 54 is keep that stick on the ice. That's and it. And that's it. That's it. And White just got tripped up, as we've seen near the camera by 21 Stark. Look, he just hooked his. He, he, he had the bait on the fishing line and he hooked the sturgeon real good. And there's going to be a penalty on the play. You, you can't get away from that one. You're not getting off the line on that one, Simonson. No, you are not. Here we are now. It looks like there's no power play any longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a shot and a save by Williams. That's how fast things work. I mean, if there's no action on the penalty kill, then why would you want to sit and watch two minutes of that? Uh, it's all about action. Shots on net. Great defensive work. Great save and everything that makes the game exciting to watch with this absolutely mediocre commentary behind it. And Bickerton throws it up to White who can't get it. 96, Lind Linden has the puck. The one player that you don't want to have the puck on the Wolverines has it ferociously battling off Surgeon, trying to make something happen. Puck loose all over the place. Number three, White gets the puck, trying to get out of his zone, getting chased by Linden. White does get it out of their zone, gets around a Wolverine, gains his zone with speed. Gets 53 has a shot and a big time save by William Simonson. That needed to happen right there. Like I said, it's a goaltender's game almost at this point, I think, because both teams are going back to back and forth, and both goaltenders are having to stand on their head, making fantastic saves. 100% correct, Simonson. Hort Olsen, number 97, getting checked by Jensen and another Sturgeon, playing with the puck on the line. Something you don't want to do, but it gets to Kotlowski, batted away by a Sturgeon back into the neutral zone. Car Camo trying to throw it up, uses the boards as the Wolverine dump it back into the Sturgeon zone. Number two, giving chase, gets checked by 14 McRobbie, goes down, and it looks like he's staying down here, Simonson. Number two, Diak is injured. Yeah, there's the whistle. We were waiting for that. And hopefully he's okay here, Simonson. Yes, we don't want to see anybody get hurt. And it looks like he goes down awkwardly into mm. the boards. And that one just smarts. So take a minute, breathe, and just lay there and wait until you feel better. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it might have shocked him a little bit. Uh, looked like his wrist went awkward into the board. Might have whacked his head a little bit. But we're glad that he's up and he's okay. And, uh, I mean, like you said, we don't want to see anyone get injured, Simonson. Back to playoff hockey. Car Camo, number 30, gains his own, getting checked by a surge and throws the puck, and Joe Hall swallows it up. With one minute, 52 seconds to go in this hockey game, the Sturgeons are up a goal, Simonson. The Sturgeons up one goal in the championship game with oh! time ticking down. And there's a penalty on the play for a cross check. 
Side. And we're gonna take a look. Let's have a look. 54 Kara absolutely rocked McRobbie right there. And that's something you don't need to do with a minute and change left in the third period of a championship game is take a penalty here, Simonson. Yeah, here we go. Wolverines, they have the puck. They win the draw. It's out from oh! it. And he, he scores. It's all tied up at four when it was within grasp of the Sturgeons right there. But then they take a penalty, which they did not need to do at that point. But look at this, a clean face-off win. And then a shot gets hit by a body, bounces to one player, and then Linden left all by himself. 96, the Fury, and comes out and he tears you up like those sharp blades came out of his knuckles like Wolverine in Marvel Comics. 96 is Wolverine right now and the villain is the other team uh, Magneto Simonson. Wolverine is not the guy you want to go up against. No, but you can't go against Magneto with Wolverine because he's oh, made of adamantium. Oh, that's right Simonson. Either way, Linden's the one here. Uh, bigger to Linden back at it. Battle down low and my X-Men comic uh, knowledge is obviously not correct. Uh, the battle Battle continues though with Linden, feeds it right to Carcamo, Carcamo up front, nice block by Sturgeon, puck loose in the Sturgeon zone with 29 seconds ticking, 17, Kotlowski has a shot, goes wide, Gallo's going to give chase on the puck, gets battled, uh, puck still in the Sturgeon zone, Linden has it again, the Sturgeon killer. Gallo's trying to whack the puck away at him, but the Wolverines are just relentless with pressure right now. McRobbie has the puck, has a shot! Joel makes the save! Oh! Linden goes high! Misses it! With seconds ticking down on the clock! And it's all tied up as the Surgeons, Jensen brings it to the neutral zone, and we're going to overtime in this championship hockey game, Simonson! Oh my goodness! What an exciting game that we have got here! Let's break right into it. There's no time for my talk. Here we go. Care comes in. Number 10 takes a shot. Fires it. Williams shoot, knocks it down and bats it away. And it's picked up by the Wolverines in their end on the far side corner. And they collect it. They try to regroup, figure out their breakout, their plan of attack, their plan of hacking and whacking <laughs> with those blades that thrust out of their fists because they're Wolverines. And he's slicing his way through a oh. bunch of sturgeons and over the net the shot backhand style goes. Backhand it goes right to number 10. Kara who retrieves the puck and breaks out out of his own zone with numbers of their own or just him. I don't know. Hard to see but Smith is with them trailing as Kara goes on the left hand side. Gets tripped up and I don't know if there's going to be a penalty on the play or not but Smith retrieves the puck walking it around feeds it to Wolverine and there is. There's the whistle Simonson. We got a penalty number 88 Hasek for tripping on Kara, which we're about to see right there. There there it is, and it would have been okay if he got the puck first and then hit the skates of the player, but the case was it was skates first, puck next. Murder was the case, as Snoop Dogg says. Uh, five, uh, 54, Kara just collides with 97, uh, Spencer. We're just gonna run this back because they weren't expecting it, Simonson, and everyone loves a good collision from time to time. Hey, uh, no, you know, I mean, the, the older folks might remember Rock'em Sock'em. Oh, I used to love that game. Back to playoff championship hockey. Um, Sturgeon, 53, Gallus in the neutral zone, moving his feet real fast, trying to get away from a Wolverine when they want to attack. They do. Oh, he tries to go for that bottom left-hand side, but this time, Williams read him, Simonson. Here we are. Look at, go. there's the shot and a little chop on the stick to prevent the shot from getting off right, but Williams seen what was happening, managed to get the pad down in time. He sure did. Car Camo on the right-hand side, battling the Sturgeon. Bickerton going, diving. Nice work by the Sturgeon. Bickerton to strip him away. 90 Nash feeds it up to Hansen. It looks like Hansen moves the puck out of his zone. 96 Linden, though, strips the puck away from him. Great job by him, but they give it away to Nash. Nash in the neutral zone. Throws it blindly up to the boards, which lands on Linden's stick. Linden uses the boards to get around Nash. Gains the zone of the Sturgeon with numbers. There's three of them. Three Wolverines there. 90 gives it to 14. McRobbie. McRobbie scores! And that's the game winner! The Wolverines have just been out the surgeon in this barn burner of a playoff championship hockey game to take the W here. But I gotta say, Simonson, what a game by the surgeon to come back 
as they did on that 6-1 loss. Oh, man, they're going to be feeling that one. They broke my heart, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But what an uh, excellent little tournament that I had seen here throughout. And, oh, wow, like the, the, the Sturges came out much better today than they did the first time that they played the Wolverines. And they had it all the way to the end where we actually needed an extra frame. 100% Simonson, there's nothing to be ashamed of in that hockey game. That was absolutely fantastic by both teams. You gotta give credit to both of them. I mean, the Sturgeons, they played a hell of a game, but so did the Wolverines, Simonson. And you can't ask for a better championship game than that uh, going forward here. That's right, you know what? You take those medals and you just start the collection or add it to them. Thank you and good night from Langley Twin Rings.